Being pregnant at the same time as your sister is a unique experience to begin with. But the story of American twin sisters Becky Pistone and Rachel McGough goes a step further. Not only did the sisters give birth within an hour of each other, the doctor noticed an unbelievable detail after the babies were born. Becky and Rachel are identical twins. They look extremely similar, but their personalities go hand in hand as well. The sisters have the same hobbies and friend group and have been joined at the hip since they were little. As kids, they even wore necklaces with their names on them because even their parents couldn't tell them apart. But years later, when Becky and Rachel had their own kids, something special happens. Becky and Rachel's story is unbelievable, but the close twin bond they have is more common. If you know any twins, you may have noticed this before. The brothers and sisters seem to have a different way of communicating with each other that doesn't necessarily involve words. These twins that got pregnant at the same time can relate. Researchers have done lots of studies to find out what goes on between twins. It appears as though the two have a better feel for each other than normal brothers and sisters, but it's difficult to get into the specifics of why that is. Some people think it's telepathy. Twins may be able to feel what the other is thinking or feeling, even when they're not in the same room. It's been said before, twins have a bond that goes beyond the normal bond of a brother and sister. Sometimes it seems like there's a sixth sense that twins have that make them understand and have a better feeling for each other than anyone else. This was the case for Becky and Rachel as well. From the time they were born, the two were inseparable. Because they looked so much alike, the two often changed names. Because teachers and even some family members couldn't tell them apart, they took advantage of this quite often. If there was a math test, for example, Becky would take it for both of them. While Rachel, with her knack for languages, would take the same language test twice using two names. In this way, they used their talents to help each other out. These talents also became the reason the two would have to miss each other later in life. It didn't go well for too long when the sisters first moved away from each other. After high school, the two sisters chose different paths. While they had the same interests, their talents didn't align. Becky was a math whiz and moved to New York City to study. Rachel decided to go to Boston University. Their choices were going right at first. For the first time, they had their own lives away from each other. Especially on a romantic level, the two had taken different paths. Rachel loved dating and always had a boyfriend. Becky was a bit more reserved on that front. She didn't always agree with her sister's choices. For example, when Rachel decided to move in with her boyfriend right after graduating. Becky found her true love too, eventually, but soon they faced a difficult question. While Becky wanted to wait until she had a long-term relationship before moving in with someone, Rachel had different thoughts. Not only did she live with her partner while still studying, she quickly got the urge to start her own family. She never expected she would have to bring her twin sister into it. Rachel wanted to be a mom so badly, but after several attempts, it became clear that it wouldn't be that simple for her to get pregnant. Rachel saw her dreams of a family fading away. Would she ever be able to become a mother and hold her own child in her arms? She was afraid not, unless her sister could help. For that, Becky had a big question to ask. When Rachel simply wasn't able to get pregnant, she called her sister in tears. Remember how we used to always talk about having our own kids, and how we both wanted big families with at least five? The defeated Rachel asked Becky. And remember how we used to switch places with each other to get things accomplished when the other couldn't do it? Dear Becky, Rachel continued on the phone, I've been trying to get pregnant for so long, but it's just not working. Would you be able to try too? If we try together, I just know that it'll work for the both of us. The request stuns Becky at first. Did Rachel think that she'd be able to get pregnant if Becky was too? It's a pretty big question. Will you try to build a family for me? But it wasn't a crazy moment for the twin sisters. They were both in stable relationships and their lives were on the right path and they were in their 30s. After good thought, Becky came back with an answer. I think it's time to put our twin powers back into play and to go for it, Becky suggests. Just like Rachel, she was going to try and get pregnant for the first time. An exciting decision, but Becky and her partner feel up to it, 
And who knows, maybe Rachel really could help fulfill her dream of having kids. Then Rachel decides to buy a pregnancy test. Rachel had already seen so many negative pregnancy tests that she didn't even dare hope for a positive one. But the evidence is right there in her hands. The test is positive. After all her attempts, she's finally pregnant. Rachel decides to call her twin sister with the amazing news right away. Becky is of course ecstatic for her twin sister, and three weeks later she gets another reason to celebrate. She takes a test that turned out positive too. The two sisters can't contain their joy. They would experience these nine months together, seeing each other's stomachs grow and talking about their babies. But before long, Rachel needs her sister's help again. Rachel had gotten pregnant a bit before Becky, and her due date was two weeks earlier. She waited for the day her baby would be brought into the world impatiently. The date came, but Rachel didn't have any contractions. It looked like the baby was waiting on its cousin in Becky's belly. Rachel was sure of it. Only once Becky gave birth would her kid come as well. It's something you can hardly imagine. We know how tight the bond between twins can be, but these two even got pregnant at the same time. Giving birth at the same time would be too big a coincidence, right? Or is there really a sort of special power between twins? You'd think so after hearing Becky and Rachel's story. Becky and Rachel didn't just have completely different due dates, they were to give birth in different hospitals as well. For Rachel, the delivery is anything but speedy. The baby doesn't want to come out and doctors have come to the conclusion that if it doesn't happen in the next two days, they'll have to induce labor. Rachel knows what she has to do. She needs to use her incredible twin powers to get her sister's labor going. She couldn't even get pregnant until her sister decided to do the same. She needed to use their special bond just once more. It was a big gamble because it meant the ever so pregnant Becky would have to go to a different hospital. On top of that, Becky's baby may not be coming for a few more days. Was it going to work? All of a sudden, Becky decides to rush to Rachel as quickly as possible, even though she's nine months pregnant herself. It's not ideal, but it has to happen. If Rachel doesn't have the baby soon, it could have tremendous effects on her and her baby's health. And the twin powers have worked before. Amazingly enough, Becky is able to get into the hospital room next to Rachel. It makes things pretty easy for the soon-to-be grandparents as well, their daughters giving birth on the same day in the same place. The birth itself proves to be anything but easy, even though the twin sisters can hear each other through the hospital wall and use their twin powers. One right after the other, Becky and Rachel are brought to the hospital to give birth. The same day they both welcome baby boys into the world, there's just one hour of difference between the two cousins. The twins' partners are speechless, but even the hospital workers can hardly believe it. But it gets even more unique. The two babies are given the names William and Andy. Neither of the two seem to be easy babies at first. They cry a lot and are restless. The doctors say they might be dealing with uncomfortable stomach cramps, as many newborns do. But when they take a closer look, he sees that it's something else completely. The boys had different dads, of course, but everyone in the hospital can see they could have been twins themselves. The shape of their faces, their noses, their length, it might be hard to tell the two apart, just like their mothers way back when. And there's one more unsettling behavior. Do they have the same character too already? Or is there something else going on that's making the two act like real crybabies? Obviously, the parents want to know if the boys are healthy and that there's nothing wrong. For this reason, the two cousins that could be mistaken for brothers are taken to be looked at separately. But this finding was something the doctor never expected. The doctor wants to take a closer look at the unusually restless babies, and then he makes a unique discovery. Thankfully for the parents, it's not something serious or something that needed medical attention, but it's something that could make their lives difficult, no matter how sweet it is. The doctor noticed that Andy and William were mostly crying and restless when they were away from each other. The second the two were next to each other, they were completely at peace. The doctor can hardly believe his eyes. The two cousins were born just an hour apart and seem to have the same bond as real twin brothers do. But the coincidences in this story don't stop there. The fact that there's an unbreakable bond between the sisters is clear, and their baby boys being just as inseparable and the same age is very unique. But we've barely talked about the baby's dads. They also share something unique in common, 
and this can make things pretty confusing within the family. Becky and Rachel are both married to their son's fathers, and coincidentally enough, they're both named William. Their appearance isn't too far off from the others either. They're almost the same height, have brown hair, a big smile, and the same facial hair. You could say the twin sisters definitely have the same taste in men. For Rachel and Becky, becoming mothers is a dream come true. I hope they have just as strong a bond as Rachel and I have always had, Becky says. That's what we've always dreamt of for our kids. And it looks like that dream came true, all thanks to their superpower. We want to thank our families that have been so supportive, just like the midwives, nurses, and other hospital staff who understood how important our bond is as twins and made everything possible. Wow, what a special story these sisters and their kids share. Do you know any twins with just as close a bond? They're not the only ones who left us speechless. Do you know the story of the identical twin sisters who married identical twin brothers and got pregnant at the same time? Identical twin sisters Brianna and Brittany Dean met identical twin brothers Josh and Jeremy Salyers at a twins festival. In this case, it's pretty obvious that brothers and sisters also had the same taste in partners. A wave of love crashed over Josh and Brittany, just like it did Jeremy and Brianna. After that, the lives of both sets of twins became even more in sync. The brothers went down on one knee for the sisters at the same time, and they all got married at the same moment. Yes, really, at the same time, even in the same wedding dresses and suits. It must have been a pretty confusing occasion for the guests. But the kids of the two couples might be even more special. Brianna and Brittany had already mentioned wanting to get pregnant at the same time. The best case would be that they turn out to be twins too and are all born on the same day, the four said after their wedding. And we want our families to grow up together. That's something we all agree on. But do they need twin powers for that? They would for sure turn out to be unique children. Generally speaking, the two kids would be pretty close. In theory, they'd be cousins, but according to their DNA, they're siblings. This is because the mothers and fathers have the same DNA makeup. And do they look the same? The Salyers twins share their unique family life on their joint Instagram account. Both the brothers and sisters often dress exactly the same, go on the same outings, and live in the same house. This has brought in quite a few followers. The sisters got lots of unique photos together during their pregnancy especially. Brianna and Brittany, as hoped, became pregnant at the same time. How special is that? Brittany was the first sister to give birth. In January of 21, she gave birth to a cute baby boy named Jet. Brianna gave birth a few weeks later and their followers needed to know, was she going to have a boy too and would they look like each other? Three months later in April 2021, Jeremy and Brianna announced that they're now the proud parents of a son. I'm thankful that our sons will grow up together, Jeremy writes about his new baby on Instagram. The cousins look inseparable already, and while they're three months apart in age, it won't be easy to keep the two apart. Just as you'd expect, Jet and his cousin Jax are spitting images of each other. They also make their way onto their parents' social media accounts pretty often, and you have to look close. Not only are the mothers and fathers impossible to tell apart, the kids are too. We're seeing triple-double. And the parents play their part in the mess by dressing the kids the same as well. Funnily, Jed and Jax are a bit more different than their parents. One looks more like Brianna and Brittany, while the other looks more like Jeremy and Josh. Would they look even more similar in the future, or less? And do they have as strong of a bond as cousins William and Andy? In any case, it's an incredible story. The bond between twins is unique, and the bond between their kids is too. That's what the two stories of the twin sisters tell us. We're curious to find out if the kids will grow up with as close of a bond as their parents, and if they maybe got a little bit of that awesome twin power.